Okay, so this is now part three. So moving on from the um, second video, we're going to quickly address this and set this up ready for um, vMix, where we're going to um, add in some different camera movements, um, bring in some video, and show how we would normally set up a scene like this, and also talk about how we could even bring in um, a second guest or maybe even a video call um, so that you can interview someone. Um, while making a show. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do then is if we go back to our rabbit character we want to get rid of this TV trigger because we won't need that for the setup that we're using so we're going to do that and save. Then if we go to our scene here as well we're going to want to save these out as PNG files so Set that as PNG. I'm not sure if VMix does um, open Photoshop files. It may do. I don't know. I haven't uh, really checked, but let's do. I just find it easier to work with PNGs. So do that one. So that is this. So there's that as and plant. So save. Okay, so now what we need to do is again we want to get rid of get rid of the camera and get rid of the plant. Let's just open up. Let's open up VMix while that's thinking about it. So we're gonna open VMix up. back into character in matter. So we're gonna get rid of the camera, the plant, the desk, and the background. So all we want is our character, we want him sized up. Um, for VMix when we do a live stream we tend to only go out at 720. Um, so I'm gonna keep yes yeah, so we keep we go out at a slightly lower resolution so I'm gonna keep this at um, 1080 and I'm going to make sure that the character is within the screen. Not be cut off anywhere. Okay. Now, in we go back to VMix. We want to add an input. So we want to add a MDI input, and that's going to load up and show the Adobe application. So we've got a character there. We're then going to add in our background, so we want to go to Image, Browse Image, and here we want to bring in background. I want to do that. Like, uh, add image, bring in desk, and now we want to bring in the pants as well. So add image. Browse. That's plan. We're also going to want to bring a video in to put in the background. So I'm just going to see if we've got any videos from before that we can use. So we use our um, Bastard's um, Star Wars video. So this is kind of all, everything that we need at the moment. So what we also want to do is now make add another input. And we want to go to virtual set. And we just want a blank virtual set. So we're going to bring that in. And this is where we're going to start layering everything up. So the lowest layer, the very first, so if we go into double click to open up our settings and we go into multi view, the very first layer is going to be our video because that's going to be behind everything. Um, we'll position that properly in a minute. Next layer, we're going to want a background. On top of that, we're going to need a puppet. And then the desk, and then the plant. Uh, these are all pretty much in place, other than the Star Wars video and the character. So we position this. I'm going to zoom this out. 
and put it into nice. Yeah, so that's roughly good enough. And then if we go back to position, uh, multi view, and we go to our NDI, which is our character here, we just kind of want to move him down a little bit. So we set this chair, we can zoom up a little bit there as well. Um, to tidy things up as well, what I like to do is you can add colored tabs. So if you double click on our virtual set setup and go to general, I'm just going to choose this blue, blue category there. So if you go to the blue category, it's just going to show that um, instead of all the elements as well. So here are our different settings. So we've got um, this is for the speed of how fast the camera would move. Um, also, what we want to do now is we want to put this one into and press quick quick play. Okay, that's because um, we've put that into the quick play video. It's started playing. So what we want to do is. Also add this into our category, um, so we're going to make this video into the blue category because we're going to want to be able to um, press play and pause on that whenever we need to. So, as I was mentioning, so these here are our speed for the camera movement. So we've got fast, medium, slow and custom. I generally just set this up on fast. At the moment it's got presets, four presets. But we can adjust these. So if you double click on here, oh sorry, right click on there, we can bring this one back so we can have a zoom in on the character and maybe back up a little bit. Then we're going to have in this one, I want it to zoom in onto the screen so we can see what's being played on there. So we move that across. That a little bit. And that'll do for that. We'll keep the long shot and maybe have a zoom in on the logo so that we can go to a use that as a kind of cutscene as well. Or maybe even just uh, where we start the show off. So now, while you're doing your live show, if you click on any of these, it's going to cut the camera back and forth which is a really nice way of doing it and if you've got character animator running in the background um, I generally work with two monitors so I'll have this on another monitor and I can animate the character while I'm then and then switch through and change camera shots and then switch back to character animator and do this type of thing as well so um, the other thing that we're going to need for this setup is we're going to need the microphone input. So here we just literally go to add, add audio input, select an audio device. So we're going to use Blue Snowball microphone. Testing one, two. And you can see I'm getting a bit of feedback there, so we'll turn that off. But that's our um, audio input in. And so this is, like I said, this is the more advanced way of setting things up. Because not only have we got the camera controls here, we can also um, cut to full screen videos. Oh um, we can load up as many videos as we want and images and cut between them. Um, so you've got a lot more um, kind of uh, things that you can do within. Nice sword. You know you're in the wrong here. So there's a lot more that you can do. Um, within this software for doing a live broadcast. Um, one of the other things that we can do as well is we can bring in other characters. Um, so if you've got another system set up, if you've got a laptop or um, something like that, you can actually um, bring, um, add an input in for NDI and bring in another character that's running on the computer at the same, um, on the same network, uh, which again, we have another video that um, explains how you can do this. Um, one of the other cool options is you can use what is called vmix cool and if you open up vmix cool you can basically send someone a link so they can um, use their web browser um, 
to send over um, the video call. Um, and Or if they've got a version of Emix, they can um, set something up themselves and send that directly to you. Uh, we've used this in the past so that we can bring uh, people into the show with us. So you could quite easily, if you go back into our settings and go to multi view, change that to our video call input. And when you've got someone on the other end of the call, that's going to then bring them in. So, actually, if I try this, I'm going to test this out and see if this works again. I'm winging it again. I'm going to go to add input. I'm going to do a video call. I'm going to copy this link. And I am going to see if I can open up, um, get my video through. Here yeah, now, let's see if this is going to work. Okay, so now I've opened that up in the browser, as you can see the feedback from the person who um, is going to get your uh, play screen and then it's going to use my camera to send back to vMix, as you can see here. Then if I put this background image as video call ant, here we're going to get, um, this is how we would set up a live interview, so as the character you can interview whoever is in the screen. You, know, you can put this anywhere that you like. You could even put me on a green screen background and have me sat at a desk somewhere as well. So that works uh, really well for um, a live show setup. The next thing that you would want to do then is to be able to stream um, to uh, somewhere online like Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and all that type of thing. Again, it's a simple setup of going to settings. Um, Selecting, I've signed up through Facebook. You can set up a custom um, key, or you can, and also with um, depending on what version of uh, VMix you have, you can actually stream to three, um, two or three different uh, online services at the same time. So you can um, do Facebook and YouTube, which we've done quite often as well, which is really cool. Um, again, like I say, um, you've then also got um, whatever you're doing in Character Animator. So if you've got the character selected and you want to move him around, yeah, anything that you do in here is going to update into vMix. So you know you can add in um, some triggers where the character walks off shot and comes back in. Also, what you what it's also possible as well. So say if we want to add in a new scenery. So if we go to images, I'll see if I've got something already set up. Um, we'll use this as an example. What we can now do is do the same thing again. We're going to set up a virtual set. Set a blank one up. I mean, you can use any of these templates as well. So if you want to uh, make a newsreader template, um, you can. But in here, we're going to um, go to we're going to layer this up. We're going to set the outside of the pub as background. I'm going to bring in my NDI of my character. I'm going to bring him down here. Stick him down by the door. A lot smaller. That'll do. Let's have a little too precise. Now again, we can change our settings and we can zoom in. Mid shot there. So now we can 
cut between different scenes. And have a different scenery set up that we can quickly cut across for a live show. Uh, so this is your um, preview screen, and this is your um, kind of your live output. So what, whatever is in here is what anyone's going to see streaming online. So it's just a quick overview of how we would make um, a bit more of an advanced um, scenery setup with a character uh, for live streaming um, as well. And if you wanted to use um, this character for pre-recorded stuff using the scenery setup. Um, we would probably use the uh, part two version and record things on the timeline in there. Um, but you could even record this live. You literally just press record and you can edit things later on. So that is part three. Um, if you have any questions or anything that you want going over in more detail, leave a comment and let us know. And we'll make a video and explain that in further detail.